Welcome to Icon Telesec Services Limited. Today, we meet Neri Achar, a successful businessman who runs a telecommunication company in Nairobi. He started from nothing in 1993. I used to do my own private jobs, repair, doing repairs and uh, design and installation of, of TV aerials. Then uh, one of my neighbors approached me that uh, their company is looking for somebody to do, to install for them some uh, telecommunication uh, network in uh, Tanzania and Sudan. And then he introduced me to his boss. So that was the turning point. That's when I decided to uh, resign from employment and, and start uh, a business. Neri was previously employed in the telecommunication industry as an engineer. But even with all this experience, starting this business was not an easy task. Since I started in 1993, uh, it has been very difficult. It has been like a one-man show. I'm the one who used to do the job, get paid, and that's it. That was everything in the company. Until 1996, three years later, when I decided to employ uh, two people, one field technician and uh, office administrator, that is 96. And we stayed like that until 2002, when uh, I increased my staff to about seven. And then uh, between 2002 and now, we are over 60, with uh, branches nearly all over the country. What does Icon Telesec Services Limited have to offer? We build uh, telecommunication infrastructure. We do designs uh, in telecommunication networks. We implement, we support, and also we offer consultancy purely on telecommunication. We have so many uh, content providers, those who provide internet services, those who provide uh, uh, video gaming, films, uh, movies, uh, those who provide uh, data services. So they are able to use the infrastructure we have laid. So when they use the infrastructure, when they pass their content through our infrastructure, they pay us. This is um, a, a digital subscriber line, uh, access multiplex. It's a point whereby the fiber is terminated here for distribution to the uh, residential houses. Uh, the equipment costs about uh, $8,000, uh, including installation comes to about $10,000. But to the customer, uh, they're supposed to purchase a modem, which is supposed to be installed in their premises, which costs about $65. Uh, that's a one-off payment where they purchase it. And then a monthly fee of about between $10 to $15, depending on the amount of bandwidth they require. Neri's business has grown from one-man business to a medium-sized business creating employment in Kenya. We are doing very well business-wise. Uh, we Currently, we are doing an average of about 10 to 14 million in a month, gross turnover. Uh, we have one major customer, that is Kenya Data Networks. Uh, we are basically doing most of the work for them. Uh, we are doing support for them, which is giving us about uh, guaranteed income of about six million per month, uh, plus the other new businesses that we are doing. With his company enjoying sustainable growth, how does Neri market his company? Through introduction. Yeah. The people I've worked with passed me over to the others. And I've been lucky because I've been having enough uh, work to do and, and make sure that we do our work well and our work sells for us. As a focused entrepreneur, what does he attribute his success to? It has to do with a lot of sacrifice and discipline. I identified what I wanted to do in life and I've remained focused to that and worked very, very hard towards achieving uh, our goals. Neri has business secrets that lead to his success. The secret is that now is that you, you have to maintain good relationship with your customers and you have to be honest, extremely honest in whatever you are doing. Neri is able to conquer his competitors by simply focusing on being the best. We have competition but that is not a major challenge to me because we have not concentrated on competition and we don't think about competition. What I tell my staff is that stop thinking about competition. Concentrate on thinking on how best 
you can deliver? How can we make our product the best? He tells us some of the mistakes that he has made as his learning experience. I, I, I didn't have the financial discipline, so I wasted a lot of money uh, earlier in, in the business. I was not planning, I was not uh, investing into business. In this world of telecommunication, one has to keep a learning attitude in order to overcome many challenges. First of all, getting the right personnel to do exactly what you want is a problem. Because you may have very skilled people, but to, to mold them as a team, a working team, is a very big challenge. People don't honor payment terms. Uh, that becomes a challenge. Yet they want you to continue uh, delivering service to them, and they don't want to pay uh, to meet their part of bargain. We do corporate social responsibility in our company. We give a lot of opportunities to the needy youth who are not employed to our company. Through sports, that's how we identify Jericho All Stars. Tangible things is just giving them hope. Uh, secondly, buying them sports equipment. And then also, we, when they play over the weekends, we make sure that we feed them. We, we told them to identify a shop there, which is an empty shop, so that we can renovate it and uh, uh, create some business, including a fitness center. Neri has a dream to see his company far beyond Kenyan borders. Ten years from now, I'm seeing uh, Icon Telesex Services Limited present in, uh, in most countries within East and Central Africa. Maintaining good business relationships, honesty and diligence will place you in the lead. And like Neri, you will earn success in business. The best asset you can have in, in, in any investment is human resource. And this is where any entrepreneur needs to pay more attention. Any human being, whether they have gone to school or not, so long as they have the right attitude and they are trainable, they can do anything you want them to do.